and uh, your tube is broken. Yeah, that's so, so good. Yeah. That's not good. One of them is. Yeah. Um, oh, make sure they put it in. I don't know why it's broken. And I see everyone has a little. Everyone's everyone. Most people almost have a clip it's on the tip. It's not good. Right? Holy but God. you can see, right? Put it up to the light. You can see where the plasma air interface. Did you see that? Yes. Yeah. So that's where you have to start your measurement yeah, from. That is really low. And uh, look at the, uh, the bottom now. You can see where the plasma cell interface is. Everybody see that? That's right, right there, right? Where the cell ends, right? The pack cells. So we call that the plasma cell interface. And then in the bottom, that's the, right, where you see the putty, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't measure the putty, so we measure where the putty cell interface is. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Right. So you got three things to, to look at. The, uh, the plasma cell interface, which is at the top, towards the opening. Mm -hmm. Then the plasma cell interface, that's where this cell starts. Okay, and the plasma ends, and then you have the cell putty interface, where the cell ends and the putty begins. <laughs> How's that? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, to measure this, this uh, is the reader. So, as you can see, there's a line there. See that here? So, that line is for the putty cell interface. So, so we're actually, that's where, that's the column, right? Where the column starts at the bottom. So that line will be, a, you put, so it's exact on that. So we're not measuring, as you see, we're not measuring the putty. We're measuring from that line coming towards the outside. All right, this has two plates on it, the top plate and the bottom plate, okay? Uh, we always, once we have put our tube on there, uh, we start at 100%. So that red, see the red line uh, should be, when you put it like that, it should be on 100%. Uh, you don't want it like that. The 100 is there. It's not on the line. So if you don't see the 100 on the red line, you know you're, you need to turn your plate around, right? So the whole thing comes back. And you actually will hold it with one finger. See, I'm holding it in place. So that allows me to move this upper plate. So the upper plate has a line, you see that curve line there? That's the reading line. So the first thing to do is once you have set this up and this is at 100%, is to move this upper plate so the line crosses the air plasma interface. That's the top, right? Mm -hmm. so, so you have to eyeball it and, and make sure it's exact on like that. So that's the top of the column. So the bottom of the column is on that line. The top of the column is set with the upper plate. Then all you have to do now is rotate the whole plate, the bottom plate and the top plate rotates together, okay? Until it crosses now the cell plasma interface. Everybody see what I did there? Mm -hmm. So now I rotate the whole thing, it's crossing. And then all I have to do is read the number on the red line. So you see it's between 18 and 17. So this is more like 17.5, the hematocrit. And you can see it's very small. It's way low. Yeah. And that's because the cell's been there for a while. This is not for hematocrit, but we use it just to practice. Okay? So this is, um, that's all you have to do is read the number off on the red line, and that's your hematocrit.